everyone welcome back to grade up my name is deepthi mittal in this video lecture we are studying database management system till now we have completed database design er model sql relational algebra file organization and now we are studying transaction and concurrency control today we are going to study previous year questions which were asked in gate cse on transaction and concurrency control and we are going to discuss which are the important topics in our database management system subject so let us start with transaction and concurrency control previous year questions guys till now i have discussed almost each and every concept which is required in transaction and concurrency control so i think you are very comfortable with solving previous year question i am going to solve it with you so be cooperative and try to solve it along with me for better understanding of the concept guys this question was asked in gate cs 2003 and it was asked for one marks let us see what this question is demanding or what is this question asking to us This question is which of the following scenario may lead to irrecoverable error in a database system So now you are aware what is irrecoverability and what is irrecoverable error in database system Let us go through the options and to and let us find out which option is correct from the given options Option A option A says a transaction writes a data item after it is read by an uncommitted transaction but you know what is the problem with irrecoverable error we are having two transactions transaction t1 and t2 transaction t1 writes data item a and transaction t2 is reading that particular data item a before commit or roll back of our transaction t1 but this option a is just opposite so this cannot be correct let us move towards b option what b option says a transaction reads a data item after it is read by an uncommitted transaction that is what we are having here write, read and read conflict it is not a conflict pair so this option is also not correct c the option c a transaction reads a data item a after it is written by an uncommit sorry committed transaction if a transaction is going to read data item which is updated by a committed transaction there is no problem of uncommitted read and there is nothing like uncommitted read so it cannot be irrecoverable it is recoverable so option c is also not correct let us see what option d says option d says a transaction reads a data item after it is written by an uncommitted transaction see the same thing this transaction t2 is reading data item a um uh, after it is written by transaction t1 which has not committed yet so option d is correct this was about recoverability problem in our database system and schedules let us move towards next question subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from trade up yes this question was also asked in gate cs 2003 and it was asked for two marks read it with me consider three data items d1 d2 and d3 and the following schedule of transaction t1 t2 and t3 we are having a schedule with three transactions t1 t2 and t3 and the data items which we are going to read or write or update are d1 d2 and d3 and it is clearly mentioned that rd denotes reading of data item d and wd denotes writing of data item d you are now aware of all these things we have discussed so many questions on schedules till now so it is asked which of the following statement is correct we are provided with four statements and all of these four statements are discussing about serializability of a schedule then what we are going to discuss whether this particular schedule is serializable or not so tell me the way to check whether a schedule is serializable or not yes we have two techniques for this thing first one is conflict serializability and second one is view serializability 
you know it is easy to check conflict uh, whether a schedule is conflict serializable or not what we have to do we have to just draw a precedence graph for the given schedule and then you can easily find out whether it is serializable or not so let us check whether this particular schedule is serializable or not by drawing its precedence graph while uh, while teaching you precedence graph i already mentioned how you are going to draw a graph you will first find out the vertices which are transactions in your particular schedule then you are going to find out edges between these transactions on the basis of conflicts the conflict pairs between these two transaction we will start with first operation in our schedule which is read of data item d2 from transaction t2 we'll find out write of data item d2 in transaction t1 and t3 for getting read write conflict pair so just scan transaction t3 and t1 for getting write of data item d2 if you observe we are having a operation write of data item d2 in our transaction d uh, sorry t3 then we are going to have an edge from t1 to t3 because there exists a conflict pair read write conflict now let us check the same thing in transaction t1 is transaction t1 having something like write of d2 yes we have write of d2 operation then what we can sorry um this is my mistake uh, this s should not be there we are checking for transaction t2 then we are going to have a conflict between t2 and t3 uh, updated graph will be like this see don't focus on the above graph i have drawn this thing by mistake we are having a conflict pair between t2 and t3 then we are going to have an edge between t2 and t3 same thing we are going to have an edge from t2 to t1 because of read write conflict pair now let us check for second operation in our transaction t2 here we are having w of t2 so clearly you can check for each and every operation and just draw the graph there is one more way for doing this thing see this transaction t2 can have edge to t1 or t3 because we are having only three transactions so it already has two edges one for t1 and one for t3 then we need not to check for each and every operation of our transaction t2 because we cannot add some other new edge from t2 t2 can have only two edges on maximum one to t1 and second to t3 and we uh, get both of them from our first operation only then i need not to check for each and every operation let us check for transaction t1 see in transaction t1 the first operation is read of d1 data item we'll scan for write of d1 data item in our transaction t2 and t3 in our transaction t2 we got write of d1 data item then i am going to draw an edge from t1 to t2 yes if you observe here i need not to check for other dependencies also we are having a cycle and precedence graph is not a cyclic then what we can say about schedule schedule is not serializable so the correct option is this schedule is not serializable guys uh, i think you know this concept very well what you have to do just draw the precedence graph by using that schedule and check for cycles if no cycle then it is serializable otherwise not and if you are still having some doubts please refer the video section again and that particular video again for more clarity let us move towards next question this question was asked in gate cs 2004 and it was asked for one mark let us see what this question is asking this question is which level of locking provides us highest degree of concurrency in a relational database that is if we are going to apply a locking protocol or locking of data item at a particular level which level will provide me the highest degree of concurrency that is it will allow more users to access data at the same time if i am going to allow locking on page a page means a something like a block of memory if you are going to allow locking on block second option is if you are going to allow locking on table third option is if you are going to allow locking on row and fourth option says all will result into same degree of concurrency 
in first video lecture on transaction and concurrency control i have mentioned about organization of database in that particular thing i have already mentioned you that we are going to have a database there we are going to have some tables and tables will be stored in the form of blocks and blocks is going to contain records and i have already mentioned these records will provide the highest degree for concurrency these block will correspond to pages and these tables are basically file so which option is correct here yes option c option c is correct because when you are going to allow locking on rows then maximum degree of concurrency is achieved because so many users can work on a particular table at a time this was all about this particular question let us move towards next question this question was asked in gate cs 2016 and it was asked for two marks consider the following directed graph we are provided with a graph and it is asked the number of different topological ordering of the vertices of the graph we have to count number of topological orders which are possible for this particular graph guys you are aware how to find out topological orders yes recall the algorithm with me just recall the algorithm first point was visit the vertex with in degree 0 second thing delete that vertex from the graph third thing repeat this procedure for each and every vertex c first of all tell me which particular vertex is having in degree 0 here yes a i am going to delete a first then after deleting a uh, my graph will look like something this these two edge also gone then i left b c f d and e now again i have to repeat the same procedure i have two edge uh, two vertices with degree in degree 0 b and d and i can choose any one of them suppose if i choose is b then this will be gone then i am going to have two vertices with in degree 0 c and d then again i am going to have two choices here d was suppose i deleted d this time c this time first i deleted a then b and then c then my graph will look like something something like this d e and f then which vertex is having in degree 0 in this particular graph yes only d then only e and then only f so one topological ordering which is possible here is a b c d e and f suppose after deleting b instead of deleting c i deleted d then my graph will uh, look like something this c f e something like this then again i am going to have two choices to be deleted c and e suppose i deleted c then the choice which is left to me is deleting of e and after deleting e i am left with only one vertex which is f suppose instead of deleting c at that time i deleted e then i got a b d e after deleting e i got c and then f let us repeat this procedure if i have deleted d after deletion of a then again after deletion of d uh, d i am going to have two choices b and e then i am again having two choices b and e and after deleting e the graph would look like b c and f so the sequence would be like b c and f here and suppose instead of deleting e at that time you deleted b this particular edge then you are going to have something like c f and e the same thing which we have here then again we are going to have two sorted sequence uh, two topological orders for this particular combination so now we are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 six possibilities and six topological orders in this manner you have to cover each and every possibility of deletion of vertices so that you can collect all the topological orders which are possible so tell me the answer for this particular question yes the answer is six you are going to have six topological order for this particular graph 
So guys, if you observe, this question is very easy. Nothing great in this particular question. Just you have to be focused and write each and everything properly and cover each and every possibility. Let us move towards next question. This question was asked in GATE CS 2014. This question consists of four transactions T1, T2 and T3, T4. It is asking whether the schedule is conflict serializable and recoverable or not. So for checking of conflict serializability, I am going to draw precedence graph. Let us draw the precedence graph along with me. We have done this thing so many times that you should be very fluent in drawing precedence graph for our given schedule. We are going to have four vertices. Let us draw the edges first. From T1, what we are going to have C. This T1 is having right X operation. If any of the should, uh, transaction T2, T3, T4 is going to have read X or right X operation, after this right X operation, then there will be a conflict pair. Observe this T2 is having some read X or right X. After this right X, no. T3, no. T4, yes. T4 is having read X operation. So there will be an edge between T1 and T4. Let us see for transaction T2. T2 is having read X. Let us check for right X operation. T3 is having right X operation. T1 is having right X operation. So it is going to have two edges. T2 to T1 and T2 to T3. Let us check for other operations in transaction T2. It is having right Y operation. And transaction T4 is also having read Y operation. So we are getting write and read conflict pair. So T2 is going to have an edge to T4. For read Z, no other operation. Let us move towards T3. Yes, T3 is going to have a conflict from T3 to T1 because of this right right conflict and T3 to T4 because of this read X. We need not to check any of the H for T4 because there are no other operations which are followed by transaction which are following transaction T4. So we need not to check for our transaction T4. This is the precedence graph. Check whether any cycle is present in this particular graph. I am not doing any cycle. So what I can say about this graph or what I can say about this particular schedule. Yes, this schedule is conflict serializable. And the sub part of this question is it is asking whether recoverable or not. So guys you are aware when a schedule is not recoverable either it is going to have uncommitted reads or reads which a particular transaction is performing is updated by some other transaction and the read is done before commit or rollback of that transaction. We will first of all check for uncommitted reads in our schedule. See this particular transaction is having only three read operations. Transaction T2 is reading X and Z and transaction T4 is also reading our data item X. Transaction T2 when uh, reading data item X, it is initial read. So no problem. Read Z is also initial read. But transaction T4 is making a updated read which is updated by our transaction T1. But T1 committed before execution of transaction T4. So what we can say is this a uncommitted read? No, it was a committed read. So this schedule is recoverable too. So what is the correct option here? Yes, schedule S is both conflict serializable and recoverable. So answer is option C here. Now you are clear and you know how to use conflict serializability and recoverability and how to check whether a schedule is conflict serializable or recoverable or not. So guys, up to now I have tried my best to cover each and every topic in our database management system and I have covered almost all the topics which are important and which are the part of our database syllabus. Now, since this is the last video of our uh, database subject, I have discussed almost all the topics. Now I am going to tell which topics are important because I have covered each and every topic. But some of them are very important because repetition of questions from these topics is quite high. That is every year you are getting almost one question or two questions on these topics. So it is some analysis on important topics in our database subject. See, the, our first topic which we started with was database design. 
so the some important topics in this particular topics are or in this particular sub topic is introduction to key you should know all the basics about key you should be very clear with the definitions of keys number of keys and how to find key every year almost one question it is asked number of asked on finding number of candidate key number of super key this is the uh, question which is repeating so many times and it is the concept which is asked so many times in our gate exam so just study this thing very very clearly then the next important topic is functional dependencies armstrong rules then lossless join and dependency preserving decomposition yes this is the concept with highest probability of repetition then normal forms and decomposition into the normal form almost every year one question is asked on normal forms and decomposition of our database tables into higher normal forms so when i taught you this database design topic i also mentioned uh, topics like closures and canonical covers these topics are not that important canonical cover is like not that important for our database design subject uh, sub topic so while studying database design please be focused and pay more attention on these particular sub topics these questions and the these topics are asked so frequently and they are quite important then we discussed entity relationship model in entity relationship model we are having two things basic terminology and mapping constraint this is mapping constraint this is the most important thing in our entity relationship model you should know the minimum number of tables which are required for a particular mapping constraint with partial integrity partial participation or total participation you should know the minimum number of tables for each and every case and then how to decompose your how to uh, design your er model that is conversion of your er model into a form of tables for storage of your data into your system so in that also you should know uh, how to find the highest normal form present for that particular er model these two topics are very important in our entity relationship sub topic so be focused and read this thing very carefully if you still have some doubts please refer those videos again next topic which i taught you was relational algebra and sql queries one thing i can say about sql query is each and every year at least one question is asked on sql queries you cannot find a single year where question on sql is not asked and relational algebra and sql queries are interrelated if you are good at relational algebra you can easily say you can write any of the sql query any query you can write there is no doubt in that thing so practice this part portion so many time be focused for this particular portion refer video again solve so many questions solve at least around 10 to 20 question on each and every close you can refer book Rag, uh, ragu ramakrishna db concept this book is really good for practicing question on relational algebra and sql queries pay more attention to this particular topic then we studied file organization guys this topic is quite less important for gate purpose you will uh, not find any question on recent years in recent years on file organization but it is always better to have knowledge for each and every topic so don't miss it completely just study about basics of indexing and basic types of indexing and just study b and b plus three the formula based question are asked repeatedly and so many times so just study the node structure for b and b plus three and how to find the order for that particular node focus on this particular thing you can pay less attention to file organization but it is always better to study than not studying anything then the next topic which we started is transaction and concurrency control go through all the basic asset properties and state transition diagram study about schedules and serializability recoverability and rollback and locking protocols this locking protocol is important but it is no, not asked that frequently but it is important so just practice or study about two phase locking and strict two phase locking and get the concept over there it is not that important but still it is always better to have some knowledge on each and every concept so the most important topic in transaction and concurrency control is schedule and serializability study this thing very sincerely 
so these are some important topics which you have to focus while studying database management system guys when i started teaching uh, database management system i already mentioned that database management system is very important subject uh, regarding computer science branch and if you are going to prepare for any interview or some exam yes dbms uh, dbms is asked very frequently i have tried my best to explain all the topics to you and this is uh, this time you should act you should uh, revise each and every concept so many time refer videos again study each and every topic many time try to make short notes try to practice question on each and every topic and study each and everything very sincerely if you are going to work hard definitely you are going to get a uh, result from it thank you and all the best for watching all the videos if you still have some doubts you can post on our app that i can assure you that you are going to get answer for all those doubts i can assure you this thing so please study sincerely and be focused for what you want in your life thank you and all the best for your future